Let's have great enthusiasm. Let's have great focus. But most importantly, let's go play Wildcat football, man. Yes, let's cut it loose. Empty in the tank. Six seconds. Every play. Every stinking play. Yeah. You guys ready to go? Yeah. 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 Three, one, two, three. Where? Touchdown. The Wildcats win. Well, Buster needs a touchdown slant. They've got it. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to another season of the Pat Fitzgerald Show. I'm Dave Ennett. 20 years ago this month, the Northwestern Wildcats kicked off an unforgettable season with a win over a ranked Notre Dame team. Now, 20 years later, the Wildcats opened the season on Saturday against a ranked Stanford team at Ryan Field to start the 2015 season. Let's take a look at our Grossinger Auto Group first half highlights. formation on second down and 11 to Hogan to throw looking guns it over the middle caught by Hooper comes back to pick the ball and then he is driven back Hogan under center again from the eye to give McCaffrey hit by Lowry and driven down a little bit behind the line of scrimmage call it a loss of one Dean Lowry they'll hand it off McCaffrey running right cuts it up inside across the 30 and taken down right around the 24 yard line middle of the field a first down well, big play by Tyler Lancaster. Uh, you know, run a reverse on it and uh, have him in his first start. Uh, not only defeat a block, but then burst and you know, 305, 310 pounds, make a play out on the sideline the way that he did uh, is very, very encouraging. That was a big play, not only in that drive, but in my opinion, also in the game. Hogan with McCaffrey to his left. The snap to Hogan. Looks to throw. Wings the left side of the end zone. It's broken up. Broken up at the left side of the end zone. Where it was intended for McCaffrey, and Anthony Walker batted that ball away. There were two defenders there with the receiver. Here's the snap, the kick on the way to the uprights, and it is good, and Stanford has the early lead. They'll bring a man in motion and hand it off to him. This is the freshman running back, run down from behind by Anthony Walker. We thought third down was going to be absolutely critical to the game. Defensively, we had to get off the field. They're a time of possession offense. Uh, they like to huddle up, shorten the game to three quarters, uh, and, and the performance we had defensively was absolutely outstanding. And then flip it over offensively. Until we got to the red zone, we were really good on third down. You know, not great, but we were pretty darn good. Uh, but our red zone efficiency uh, on third down, our red zone efficiency just overall has got to greatly improve if we want to be successful as the season goes along. He'll give Justin Jackson, big hole left side to the 25, still on his feet, inside the 20, and down to the 17-yard line, a 19-yard pickup for Justin Jackson. 32-yard try to tie the game. The snap, the kick by Mitchell, plenty long enough. It is good. Jack Mitchell with a field goal ties the game. Hogan in the gun. Flanked by Wright, McCaffrey. And gives to McCaffrey, nowhere to go. He has to gives it Anthony Walker. Take him down, they double team him at the 31, a loss on the play on the final play of the first quarter. Here's the third down call for Stanford, Hogan to throw. Hogan under pressure, he's hit and sacked. Sacked back at the 29 yard line, Ifani Odenabo. With a takedown, Odenabo the junior. And Hogan straight back to throw. Now, here's some pressure, he's sacked. Travion Henry on a safety blitz. Takes down Kevin Hogan, second sack for the Wildcats. And a loss on the play. Third down, they give it to the running back right. He's brought down behind the line by Dean Lowry. We wanted to get Clayton going, and part of his skill set is his ability to run. And to his credit, I thought Clayton really ran the ball well. We had a great block at the point of attack there by Danny Vitale to spring him on that 12-yard run. And, uh, you know, nice job by Clayton also on a play that, you know, he probably could have squeezed two or three more yards out of it, but made a good choice, got out of bounds, protect himself. And, and then obviously the long run. You know, we, we, uh, uh, did really good blocking at the point of attack. Uh, I, I think Clayton showed his athleticism there. And, you know, great to see the guys celebrate in the end zone. You know, see them celebrate together and, and uh, you know, get our first touchdown drive of the, of the season was great. How's that for your first game in college? 43-yard touchdown to give the Wildcats their first lead of the day. 
They'll give McCaffrey running left, cuts it up. Try to stiff arm him in. He fumbles the football, picked up by Walker. And Anthony Walker's got the ball. And he's covered up. First turnover today, and the Wildcats have it. The Cats take a 10-3 lead to the locker room here at halftime at Ryan Field. Still to come on the Pat Fitzgerald Show, we'll take a look back at Saturday's second half and hear from the players. And later, go inside a Northwestern practice with Coach Fitz. Keep it right here. 47-yard field goal attempt. Every Wildcat player standing, every fan standing for the win. The snap, the placement, kicked by Wazalusi all the way, and over and Tech is up, and good! The field goal is good! And the Wildcats come right back in absolutely unbelievable fashion! It's time to play Head to Head, brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. This week we're asking you to name as many types of cats as you can in 15 seconds. Our contestants, Christian Jones and Max Chapman. Max, you're up. You have the uh, house cats that I'm allergic to. You have the wild cats, which are awesome go cats. We have the tigers. We have lions, not bears. We have um, the wild cats. Um, we have... Um, Ligers, I believe. Shout out Napoleon Dynamite. Um, I think we also have... Oh, five for Max. All right, Christian, let's see if you can top that. House cats, street cats, wild cats, panthers, pumas, jaguars, leopards, lions, uh, tiger, I say tiger, tigers, Siberian tigers. Um, I, oh, God. I'll take that. Nine for Christian, he's our winner this week. We'll see you next time on Head to Head, brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Welcome back to the Pat Fitzgerald Show. Northwestern with a 10-3 halftime lead over Stanford here at Ryan Field Saturday. Let's take a look at our Discover Card second half highlights. So we're ready to go, second half from Evanston. Hope you enjoy it, 10-3 Northwestern. We'll see if the Cats can add to this lead. And Hogan on first down. Gives it off McCaffrey, finds a hole off the right side, gets outside of the 50, 45. We fit one play wrong on McCaffrey's long, long run. Our will linebacker's got to read out of a pressure. We didn't practice it enough. It's on us as coaches, not on the guys. But a great uh, touchdown saving tackle by Godwin when we get off the field, um, you know, and, and hold them to no points. So, uh, you know, they, they definitely played well on third down. That's, that was, I think, the defense's strength on Saturday. We were great on third down. We had great pass rush. Super back motions into the backfield on third and long to snap. Phil Thorson looking left, throwing left. Got Jones, first down and out of bounds. Past the 30 yard line. They lost Christian Jones. And Thorson giving to Jackson to running right. Jackson trying to take it outside 20, 15, far side 10 on his feet and out of bounds. You know, and, and to outrush them the way that we did, I think speaks volumes to our backfield. You know, there were some plays that weren't blocked very well. They were blocked for maybe a one yard gain. And you know, the way Justin and, and Warren and Solomon, you know, we're able to get out on the perimeter and make some things happen is encouraging. You know, we, we got a lot of a lot of room for improvement offensively. Our red zone, they, Justin makes a long run down to the five and we gain two yards. The hold of Christian Salem. Here's the snap. Here's the kick by Mitchell. Line drive kick up and good. And the Wildcats extend the lead with 12-21 to go in the game. Here's the third down call for Stanford. The snap. And Hogan, under some pressure, lets it go. It's almost intercepted by Walker. Yeah, you know, Anthony was very productive and he was very active. Uh, did not play a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of areas for improvement there, but he was very active. Stanford down 10. Snap to Hogan on fourth down. Hogan, quick throw, caught, and a first down out of bounds. Here's the snap, the placement hit by Yuko Krina to the uprights. The kick is good. And Stanford cuts the Wildcat lead to seven points with 7.26 to go. On third down, Thorson to throw at Thorson. Airs it deep down the right side, over the shoulder catch, Miles Schuler, and out of bounds in Stanford territory at the 48-yard line. Yeah, well, big third down throw uh, by Clayton to Miles, right, if I'm not mistaken, on that drive. And, and that was a big-time play uh, that, that uh, you know got us down the field. 3.44 left to make it a two-possession game. Jack Mitchell trying from 49. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. And over and up. And 
Good! He drilled it through Jack Mitchell from 49. Jack kicking into the wind had plenty of leg from 48. I uh, felt very confident with the way that he was striking the ball that uh, uh, you know he would have no problem making that kick. And for three of 14 on third down, third and goal at the five. Snap to Hogan. Hogan looking to the left side of the end zone. Intercepted by the Wildcats. And back the other way is Carroll. And out at the 20-yard line. And the Wildcats are going to take home a W on opening day. The interception in the end zone. Second takeaway by the Wildcats defense, which has played valiantly all day. You know, great play by Kyle and, and great awareness. You know, we didn't need a touchdown there. The game's over. Uh, he got us out of the out of the uh, end zone and uh, uh, you, know, you know took a knee and took a slide and we take uh, take the victory formation. Well, Thorson takes a knee. That's going to be the final play of the game. Pat Fitzgerald and David Shaw. Exchange handshakes at midfield. The Northwestern Wildcats have upset the 21st ranked Stanford Cardinal there on opening day in Evanston. Final score 16 to 6. As we take a look at the final numbers, you see the debut from redshirt freshman quarterback Clayton Thorson completing 12 passes for 105 yards and rushing for the game's only touchdown. Sophomore running back Justin Jackson topped the century mark for the seventh time in his career and a key team stat in the game. The Wildcats converted better than 50% of their third down attempts while Stanford was just three of 15. Let's take you inside the victorious locker room now. This is your Northwestern Medicine Inside Look. Now quite frankly there's a lot of people that have not been in this room since January. Welcome. Welcome. Bandwagon's gonna get a little crowded. You better hang on tight, okay? We're Dongo football team, okay? Because we've prepared this way. Last week, man, we dialed it up. You came right along with us. And that starts with senior leadership, man. All right, that starts with senior leadership. Where we've come from since January, it's because of you guys, man. You guys started this train moving and now we took one, we went to one stop, that's it, right? This isn't the destination, one stop on the train. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I think that um, just our mentality this whole offseason uh, has just been competition and just uh, just work ethic and blue collar mentality. And uh, this first game was a huge matchup for a, a very prominent opponent in Stanford. And I think we really, um, you know, fired up for this game. And I think we just unleashed it today. At least all the uh, the frustration of not making a bowl game last year and uh, just that knowing that in the past few years we, we could have been a better team. And I think that it showed today. I feel like uh, we just played our game today. And, you know, I don't think it was just um, any certain, you know, we just want to run the ball down their throats or anything like that. Um, it was just two good teams playing against each other. I think we played our game, and, you know, they did what they do. And, um, you know, we were fortunate enough to come out with a win. Still to come on the Pat Fitzgerald Show. With a hands-on approach and endless enthusiasm, Coach Fitz is making practices fun for the Wildcats. We'll hear from the head coach out on the practice field next. Welcome back to the Pat Fitzgerald Show. With five practices and only one game each week, it's easy for the sport of football to feel like a grind, but not at Northwestern, where Coach Fitz and his staff work to make practices fun for the players. During spring practice earlier this year, Coach Fitz let our crew mic him up to show you exactly how lively those Wildcats can be on the field. Let's take a look. Wow. I'm not, I'm not sure the Daisy Dukes are. I'm not sure the Daisy Dukes are becoming. You want to, you want to switch shorts? Look, it's a new look, man. It's in. It's that was in. What, when I was in, when I was in grade school, we wore that. Good news. Let's go, Warren. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Ho, ho. Knucklehead. You asking for rain? It's, it's coming today. It's coming today. 
Give me him. Give me him. With the Daisy Duke shorts on and the. <laughs> I noticed there were those shorts. I'm not I mean, I don't I know if it was like a. Uh... Maybe he's getting taller. Remember when you slipped and fell? I saw the tape. You slipped and fell. Don't, don't, don't slip. Don't fall. Noonan, miss, miss, Masters. Oh, look at that. Oh! Gotcha. Gotcha. I think that's going wide right, skimming. Oh! Want some? Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. <laughs> Got some rain, huh? Good, my yard needs it. That would have been awesome if you would have hit him in the ear right there, Clayton. You better watch out, Tommy. I mean, that ball almost skinned your hair. Did you try to hit him? Try to hit Tommy? Yeah. That would have, no, <laughs> that's not in your DNA. No way. That would have never happened. Not, not with you. Me? Maybe. You? Never. Drive, 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 drive. Get a base, get a base. Yeah, there you go. You felt it at the end. All right. So you're, dri you're driving like this? Get uh -huh. your feet apart. Uh -huh. So the guy spins or moves, you can move your feet. They're uh -huh. too narrow, you cross over. We give Dean an assist. Would have fit that thing up perfectly. Want some, Yop Chick? You see me go to a crossover run right there? I was in the, I was in the back. Hey, how you doing? Oh, there we go. Now I'm safe. He's going to sweep the leg. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I'd probably break my ankle. I already got my teeth knocked out once, man. I'm staying out of all contact. That, that stuff hurt bad. There's pain and then there's that. Oh, were you here then? No. Oh, my dad did that once, though. Reach right there. Oh, off arm, off arm. I like how you took accountability for that. It's a mature guy. It's Saturday when you said I should have had the ball on the other arm. Oh, oh, oh. Now you're not, now you're not sure. Oh, yeah. You a song, you make me want to roll my windows down cruise. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Whatever's on the radio is what I'm listening to. Are you going to see Zach Roundman at Wrigley this year? No. No? Going to see Kenny Chesney. Soldier Field. To say that I'm a little bit excited about that would be an understatement. All right, here we go. Ones are up. Thirteen's ejected. He's done for the day. He's ejected. I got to get him back in. Though. We only got two running backs. So. <laughs> yeah, I got, oh well. No, just because it's practice 14, you know. There'll be a ton that you will learn from today. So we got one more left. One more great opportunity to improve in the film room. One more great opportunity to get a great lift in tomorrow. And then obviously a great, great opportunity on Saturday to have a lot of fun. When we return, the Wildcats have their sights set on Eastern Illinois. We'll get you set for game day right after this. 47-yard field goal attempt. Every Wildcat player standing, every fan standing for the win. The snap, the placement, kick by Wazalusi all the way, and over and tech is up, and good! The field goal is good, and the Wildcats Come right back in absolutely unbelievable fashion. And now it's third and seven at the 43 yard line. Has have converted a couple of third downs on this drive. Quarterback draws Thorson to the 40. Thorson 35 30. Still on his feet 20. 15 10 5. Touchdown, Northwestern Clayton Thorson. How's that for your first game in college? 43 yard touchdown to give the Wildcats their first lead of the day. Welcome back to the Pat Fitzgerald Show. Northwestern hosts its second straight home game to start the season Saturday when the Wildcats welcome Eastern Illinois to Ryan Field for a 3 o'clock kickoff. The Panthers lost to Western Illinois 33-5 in Week 1, but they returned 16 starters from last year's team and were picked second in the Ohio Valley Conference preseason poll. 
Quarterback Jalen Whitlow is a transfer from Kentucky who was named second team all OVC in 2014. Whitlow is a dual threat who set the EIU single game record for rushing yards by a quarterback and also threw for over 2,000 yards on the season. Senior running back Shepard Little rushed for over 1,500 yards as a sophomore and averaged 6.4 yards per carry in 2014 despite being limited by injuries. On defense, EIU has two preseason All-America candidates, including a three-year starter defensive tackle, Dino Fanti. Very talented, talented football team, well coached. Uh, I think there's 27 or 28 young men from Chicagoland that are on the roster. Uh, and and that, this is a big maturity uh, check for us. Are we going to prepare the right way this week? And are we going to go play with the standard that we set, the passion, the physicality, uh, and the great excitement that we played with, uh, even on the boundary with our, with our guys that aren't playing? Uh, we, I need to see us take another step. Uh, and it's no disrespect to Eastern. I fully expect that they'll play outstanding football. We've got to be one week better. And most teams make their biggest jump between week one and week two. And uh, I need to see that here this week in practice before I, I know that we're prepared to, to get after it on Saturday. That's all the time we have this week for the Pat Fitzgerald Show. A reminder, tickets to see Chicago's Big Ten team here at Ryan Field are on sale now. Go to nusports.com or call 888-GO-PURPLE. Now for the coach, I'm Dave Ennett. We'll see you right back here next week. And as always, Go Cats!